Hey everyone, how's it going? So I've got a bit of an experiment today. I don't know if it'll work. We're going to find out, I guess. Uh, I'm going to take a Raspberry Pi Zero and see if we can turn it into a usable Steam machine. So we'll try to stream some games. See how it goes, see how difficult it is. Should be pretty simple to do. And uh, yeah, see if it's actually usable. Should be fun. Let's find out. Okay, you're gonna need a few things here. Obviously, a Raspberry Pi, zero in this case, or any Raspberry Pi, like those ones up there. But I'm just gonna use the zero to see how it works since it doesn't have ethernet built in. You need your favorite USB hub. This is the Pi Angle, this is the one I made. Obviously, I'm gonna use this one. If you wanna buy one of these, you can get them on my Tindy store. Here's a link, maybe. And, uh, yeah. Probably a keyboard and mouse, since we're going to be trying to game on this thing. And a... little Wi-Fi dongle there, too. And all that stuff's going to plug into the USB hub. You're also going to need a computer, also connected to the network, that has a 6, 7, or 9 series NVIDIA card, pretty sure, and you also need GeForce Experience installed on the computer, because it'll stream through that, so it'll be set up. And then we'll get into what we need for the Raspberry Pi. Let's do it! Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm adding the repository for a program called Moonlight and that's actually a program that'll let you try and stream with uh, the GeForce Experience program so you'll just add that to your sources list and then as you would with any package app get install Moonlight Embedded and I'll have all these in the description. Actually I'll just give you a link to where I saw it because I did not come up with this process. This is just showing you how to do it. Install that. Okay, now that's installed. You need to know the IP address of your main computer that you're going to be streaming from, then you do this. You're going to do moonlight pair, the IP address of the computer I just showed you, on your local network of course. So when you do this, this computer is going to say, hey, someone's trying to pair with you. It gives you the pin, you put that in here, easy as that. They're now paired. The next thing you do, which is really easy, you just do the same thing, Moonlight, this time Stream, and you put in some settings that'll probably be better for the zero since it's not as fast. If you're using like a, a three or a two, it could probably do better, but I'm going to put in some settings, so dash 720, so it only does 720p instead of 1080p, and 30 frames per second instead of 60 which I think was default and then you uh, again put in the IP address Oops. check this out that computer is loading up and we got it let's see capture. So this is all over Wi-Fi. See the dongle going crazy now? So there's a little bit of a delay, but it's not awful. Okay, I'm controlling that computer now. So this is great over here, but let's 
hook it up to the TV and try to play a game. All right, so far so good. Hmm. There it goes. Nice. So the real test is going to be the Wi-Fi because you're probably supposed to do this with a wired connection. That Wi-Fi dongle is going crazy right now because it's streaming every frame. Every frame is just an image. It's not processing anything. It's just throwing the images up from that computer. So that computer creates this like screen grab, 30 of them a second, and sends them to this one. So let's try a game. I'm thinking Rocket League would be a good latency test. I'm not going to try like Counter-Strike or anything. It would just be impossible. Maybe H1Z1. I don't know. Let's try out Rocket League and see how it goes. I wonder how many times it's going to drop out like that. Controller doesn't seem to be working. Huh. Ah. <laughs> okay, so Wi-Fi is definitely unstable. If you had a regular Raspberry Pi, I could even test this out right now, but uh, connecting to Ethernet would definitely improve a lot of things. I'm going to try again doing like a first person shooter game or something and see how it feels, how bad the latency is. This is pretty nuts. Oh yeah. See, it's not. Yeah. The game on my computer is still running. But the stream has stopped. If I restart it, does it go back in? It does. Oh, and restarting. It's probably going to crash again. But this is really cool. It's all running on little tiny Pi Zero. So, one more thing I'm going to try is without the audio, and then I'll hook up a regular B+, which is the exact same as the Pi Zero, uh, processor-wise, and um, but it will have Ethernet, so maybe we'll get way bigger increase in performance. Okay, so I lied. I don't know how to turn off the audio on that, and I'm not seeing an option to do so. So it's like you just either have no audio on the streaming computer, the computer being streamed, or you have both, which is weird. So now, I've got a bunch of Raspberry Pis, so here's one. All I have to do is swap out this SD card, plug everything into this, and hook up an Ethernet cable. We should have way better performance. So much faster. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. That was expected. Okay, that works. Over. What's the takeaway? What did we learn? Well, okay. You probably want a wired connection. You don't need a uh, Raspberry Pi 3. This is just a B plus or the 
um, Pi Zero, you could you might be able to get away with the USB to Ethernet dongle thing that you can get for them. So that's an option there. But it works. It's surprising. It's really simple to install, and uh, everything just seems to work. Anyways, I think that's it. Very uh, convoluted video, but I think you get the gist of it. It's easy to install. Anyone can do it. You can do it. With that said, everyone, be good and have a good night.